Go to asusrouter.com to configure your brand new Asus router. When you see a message saying that your HTTPS is not working, don't worry, you just have to give it permission because all of these are happening on your local internet. Next, you will need to scroll through all of the user license agreement before you can proceed to the next step. Right now, you can start to create a new network on your ASUS router. First thing first is to change your default username and password. In this demo, I will keep everything as default, but I strongly suggest you to change. Next, you will need to plug in your WAN port. While the system is able to detect your network settings automatically, in this demo, I will show you how you can do this manually. In manual configuration, first you will need to choose your WAN port, and then you choose PPPoE. From here, you will need to make sure you have the PPPoE username and password from your ISP. After typing in your PPPoE credentials, we can now start to configure your wireless setups. From here, you have to set up your new network name and the wireless password. Make sure your SSID is easily recognized and the password is secure. The setup process also recommends you to set up your IoT network, but in this demo, we will skip this. A separate IoT network will make sure your main network is not overly saturated by all your IoT devices. And that's all you need to do to get started with your ASUS router. Next, you can go back to asusrouter.com to log in into the admin page for more advanced settings. And there you have it. It is that easy to configure your brand new ASUS router.